Are you there? Russell. Russell. Hey, are you there? Are you there? Come on, man. It's Friday. Where are you? It's... We're going to be late for the Mission Impossible Rogue Nation review. Russell! Where are, where are you? Okay. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll just sit here and I'll wait for you. I'll still wait. Hey, Doug, what's going on, man? <laughs> what? Hi. Hi. Uh, Russell? What the? Where the hell have you been? Yeah, sorry, buddy. Things got a little hectic on my end. Vegas and California were calling my name. Um, I reached out to you a couple times, but I didn't hear anything back. You... You did? Um, hang on. Oh, um, um, well, I was busy too, you know. Oh yeah? With what? Well, if I told you, I'd, I'd have to kill you. <laughs> Whatever you say, man. Okay, fine. I'll tell you. I can hold my breath for six minutes. Don't believe me? Here, I'll demonstrate. No, 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 wait, don't, don't, don't. It's okay. I trained for this. Oh dear. Ugh. Well, it looks like I'm reviewing Mission Impossible Rogue Nation by myself. We're getting started right now. <laughs> Thank Doug for having me on his show. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing the fifth movie in the Mission Impossible franchise. That movie, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. It is rated PG-13 with a runtime of 2 hours 11 minutes. It stars Tom Cruise, Rebecca Ferguson, Jeremy Renner, and Simon Pegg. And this one is directed by Christopher McQuarrie. This film packs a lot of punches. There's a lot of things going on. But there are five uh, top scenes of the film that really stand out to me. And that is because the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Tom Cruise, does all of his own stunts for this film. It was the first one, I believe, he did all of the stunts in this film. So the number five I have, Ethan's tied up and escapes the pipe. He really propels his whole entire body weight up and over uh, these pipes that he was attached to, which was completely amazing. Uh, number four, we have these car chase scenes. There's random car chase scenes during the film that are really intense, really pulse-pounding and action-packed, and they are absolutely, truly amazing to watch on the screen. At number three, we have the motorcycle scenes. Tom Cruise is a big proponent of the motorcycles. He's does that does he's rode and ridden in a lot of movies. Um, he's done it in the movie Night and Day with Cameron Diaz. The other Mission Impossibles, uh, I believe Mission Impossible Two, there was a big chase scene with a uh, crotch rocket. He's a big fan of the motorcycles, and to see these motorcycle scenes unfold on the screen again are just so pulse pounding. Really shows the appreciation and commitment that Tom Cruise has to any role that he does. Number two, holding on to the side of the airplane. This stunt was at the beginning of the film, and Tom Cruise is literally holding onto the plane, or we can see like the shot of uh, Ethan Hunt, and behind him, like we can see that the um, airplane's taking off, and he that is him holding onto the side of the uh, airplane while it's going up in the air. Truly amazing, and not a lot of actors could uh, risk their life to do that as Tom Cruise does. But the number one scene for me that was completely mind blowing was there is a scene where he is holding his breath underwater for almost six minutes. I, I did a little additional research on this and I saw that he actually worked with a diving instructor to get his um, holding his breath up, uh, to, you know, up to you know up to where they can actually hold their breaths. These professional divers. The average human being can only hold their um, breath underwater for 30 to 40 seconds. So Tom Cruise is doing this almost 10 times that amount. And on top of it, he's moving around and exerting energy. So to me, what a, what a film. Uh, Christopher McQuarrie uh, really has propelled this franchise moving forward with the success of this film. 
Overall, I gave this movie five out of five stars. I couldn't find much fault in this film. I think this is the best out of the out of the five movies. I think Rogue Nation is the best. It just has the action. Tom Cruise is just a badass in this whole entire film, and I think that this film is the one that works. This shows you how everybody works together as a you know as a big cohesive unit. And to me, this this Mission Impossible franchise has only gotten better and better with each film, which is truly amazing. And it's hard to it's hard to you know uh, picture that because a lot of films actually deteriorate as they keep bringing out sequels. But th this franchise. It, it just keeps getting better and better and better, and it's because of Tom Cruise, the commitment that he has to Ethan Hunt and the character, and what he has to put himself through uh, moving forward with the film. So overall, this movie is absolutely excellent. If you guys have not seen it, I recommend checking this one out before you see the new one fall out, uh, and that's pretty much my review. I want to thank Doug for having me on, and um, like I said, I, I really, really... Um, I appreciate him having me on. I think this Mission Impossible series that he has done was really awesome, and I'm glad to be a part of Rogue Nation. Yeah, those are my uh, thoughts. So I want to know more importantly what you guys think. Go ahead and sound off there in the comments. Let Doug and I know. What movie did you like best out of the Mission Impossible franchise? So if you guys haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button, that little bell notification icon in the corner. You guys will get notified anytime I drop a new movie review, a trailer review, anything new. You guys will get notified, so go ahead and do that. Also, stick around after this big video to like and comment. Open the door! Doug, where are you? Open the door! I don't know where you're at. I'm trapped in the closet! Just open the door! Uh, alright, sure. You have fun? I think we all can agree I do too much for a laugh. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think you do. Very much so. Yeah, I think that there's a bit of a problem with you uh, going over a board, but how are we all wearing the same shirt? Shut up and get out! Russell? Don't even say it. Don't, don't even think it. You hear me? Don't. 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 You know what? Don't, don't even look at me. Don't even look at me. I... Yep. 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 That happened. And, um, I think I went too far. I think I went too far. Um... Let's go into the review! Russell, thank you so much for being a part of this review. Your contribution to this review franchise on my channel was amazing. So, Rogue Nation is the fifth film in the franchise, and it's a damn good one at that. Ironically enough, with Ryan O'Toole, Tyler Calvert, and Kylie McHenry, along with Anthony DeJoya, and now Russell Howell, I have found the perfect set of people to help me along with these reviews. Our opinions actually haven't differed from one another that much, and there could have been a difference in, in opinion. Ultimately, things worked out for the better. And with Russell, this is no different. To me, this is one of the best in the franchise. It's a solid espionage thriller with all the spy stuff you can handle. Ethan Hunt continues to be the man on a mission doing the impossible as each situation unfolds in every installment. Here, Ethan has to clear his name while proving the existence of a global anti-IMF organization called the Syndicate. Sadly, Ethan is out of resources and out of time as the IMF is under investigation and then later on disbanded because of the events of 4 and the events of right now, it's just not making a case for the IMF. So with the help of Benji, Ethan looks to expose the syndicate while on the run from the CIA. Now straight off, this movie is entertaining as all get out. It has its spy thrills and infiltration points Mission Impossible has to offer. You get a real feel for what is at stake, despite a lot of things going down over characters and people with high positions that you really don't have any clue about. All you know is that they're a target and they will be used for some sort of political gain or statement. But instead of leaving that to be the focus point, this movie travels in a direction of the oh no, so and so is in trouble, we need to go and protect them while having one arm tied behind their back with impossible odds and the things to obtain that only a crazy person would go and try and get. Mainly Ethan. My arm is actually not tied behind his back. 
I personally enjoyed this film considerably when watching it in the theater and then walking out. I just felt that this was one of the best in the franchise. Everyone was well utilized and had their time to shine, and this movie is considerably funny too, especially when the action starts. I would even go as far as to say I would give props to the villain, Solomon Lane, who I think is a runner-up for M MI3's villain, Owen oh, Damien. He provides a certain intensity while having a calm demeanor. I enjoyed his villain, but you don't get too much from him while he's lurking in the shadows and deals with Elsa Faust. He just kind of has one up on her, and it's really the interplay between those two. Speaking of Elsa, talk about a breath of fresh air. This character is awesome, and almost tragic in her own right, because she's consistently manipulated by everyone and part of every single task force known to man, and it's funny because she tries to keep her own, you know, motivations in check, and I just, I really, absolutely, 100% loved her character. And a big shout out to Bing Rhymes' character, Luther, because mostly in, in, in the fourth film, he was limited down to a cameo. So having him back was a welcome sight. I think they just found enough for him to do with some stretch of the imagination. The dialogue between him and Jeremy Renner, Brant's character, was like an old couple bickering back and forth. I just found that hilarious. But ultimately, I feel this movie, now the fifth in a franchise, goes down quietly while others get praise. This is a really solid film with great performances, tons of action, and plenty of laughs. And for that, I'm going to give Mission Impossible Rogue Nation a love it and would own it on DVD. And thusly, I do. But if I had my way and if I had a little bit more money in my, my bank, I'd tell you that i just own them all on Blu-ray. Just simple as that. This wraps up my review for Mission Impossible. Every single film in this franchise has been finally reviewed. This one was a bit delayed due to other commitments because you know how life likes to take hold. But I really want to personally thank every single one of you guys who watched and who was a part of this. Ryan O'Toole, Tyler Calvert, Kylie McHenry, Anthony DeJoya, and now Russell. All of you guys were amazing. Thank you so much for your contributions, letting me be creative with this and having a lot of fun, and I hope that you guys had fun too. And if you like this, please subscribe and see those notifications or turn on so you don't miss anything. What I do here is basically reviews of TV shows and movies that all come together and make a universe. And if that sounds good to you, please like, share, and comment, and I'm going to get you more reviews in the future.